Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Miner and I'm a real estate agent with the Iowa Realty Jordan Grove office in West Des Moines and today I want to talk to you about two different calculations of debt to income ratio and what your debt to income ratio needs to look like to get approved for a home loan. Before I get too far into this, I do want to say everyone's situation is completely different when it comes to lending. So do not assume just because your debt to income ratio isn't the best that you can't get approved for a loan. If you truly want to know, reach out to me and I can get you referred to some local lenders that would be able to give you the best opinion. All right, so let's get into it. The two different calculations for debt to income ratio are what are called front end debt to income ratio and then back end debt to income. The front end is your estimated monthly payment divided by your gross monthly income. The back end is that same estimated payment plus any other monthly payments you make towards debt. Think student loans, credit cards, auto loans, and then it's divided once again by your gross monthly income. Ideally, your front end would be 20 to 30% to get approved for conventional mortgage, and then your back end would be 30 to 38%. But there are programs that can get you approved for loans all the way up to 50% back end debt to income. I hope this helps, and have a good day.